Hi, I'm Mark Brown and today's Super Home 59 video is all about our new conservatory. Now normally when people boast about their conservatories it's just about how pretty they are. But being a Super Home, this one's just a little bit special. This build started in August 2014 and what you see here is the old conservatory, the brown one, that was ripped down. Hey presto, there it is, it's gone. Foundations have now been dug and the builders will start work here in August on the foundation wall, there it is, and the flooring with the um, box and stone is thrown in, as you can see. The wall floor is now built and the flooring is now done with the concrete screening. And as we move around, you can see the frame has now been added. This happened around October 2014. Now the glass has been added. And what we're waiting for next is the internal doors and windows to be added. And that starts just about now. There you go. And next we have another internal view of the screening from the tiling. We move outside again to see the block paving that was done on the outside. And in a second we're going to move back inside again to the final touch, the floor tiling, which is on the ceramic tiles for the wood effect. It's not easy to illustrate, but you'll notice there's a slight blue tinge on the windows to the front here. Okay, this area here and that blue tinge is missing from the windows to the left and to the right. Now that's south, okay, so east and west. Therefore, what we're doing here is using this blue tinged glass as a heat reflective glass to stop the heat from building up too much in high summer, okay. But what we're doing in the evening and in the morning is allowing the rising and setting sun to come into the sides of the conservatory and allow more heat to build up. And that what that does gives you a nice warm conservatory at the extreme ends of the day when normally you couldn't use it. Other than the particular specification of the heat reflective glass, it's actually just a very, very average conservatory. The benchmark for a 3 metre by 5 metre conservatory in the UK in 2015 is around £23,000. That's about what we paid for this. And it is completely enclosed from the house itself with double glazed doors. These two doors you see here to the kitchen, they were added in the conservatory build itself. Before, if you watched our Super Home videos, you might have noticed there was just a window in this space here and there's no entrance at all. So we've actually removed the radiator internally here, moved it to the far wall here and actually put a doorway in so it now leads into the kitchen. The previous conservatory on this site was an 80s original build, single glazed, metal framed and actually it was falling apart. The reason we decided to build a conservatory here or to replace the old one was the old one was literally, literally falling apart and it had mushrooms growing on the carpet over winter. So we decided that was enough was enough and ripped it down and built this one. Now these doors do completely seal the conservatory from the house, I'll show you. What it means is if you get a lot of cold or a lot of heat built up in the conservatory, the house itself does not have to suffer any extremes of temperature. But the brilliant thing about having big double opening doors is that if it's cold in there and it's warm in here, you can let that flood into the house. Like so. The other advantage of having it joined to your kitchen is that if you have a lot of build up of heat from your kitchen cooking, then you can open double doors and let the heat flood into here. The one day of the year that that was really, really useful was Christmas Day. We actually sat in the conservatory on Christmas Day, no need for heating, just for the heat of the cooking, which flooded into here and acted as a, as a heat sink. Now surprisingly, the, the sun all year round heats the conservatory through the transition months, through autumn, and through the spring, you can actually sit out here in a great deal of comfort, even if it's very, very cold outside. It retains its heat actually well through the evenings as well, through the brick walls here that heat up. Another small touch in the Super Home 59 Conservatory is the fact that it's wide enough to cover this external window, and that opens this way. So actually a lot of the heat that's in here can now be sucked out into the house, warming the house and cooling the conservatory, adding much more ventilation. Eagle eye visitors will spot there is a radiator behind here as well, 
That was very much a compromise between me and my wife. She wanted underfloor heating, and I insisted that there's no way we're going to use electrical resistance heating in a conservatory that's plugged into our garden. Therefore, it's much better that we actually had the biomass boiler running and used a radiator that is fed from the central heating system. So far, though, we've never used it. It's just there for frost protection. My garden rule for conservatories is they are part of your garden. Do not heat them. So what else did Super Home 59 do to its conservatory? Well, we had the blinds fitted and they fit all the way around, including the roof. They simply slide up and down and they give a good heat reflective quality to the interior surfaces so that we can re reject some of the heat in high summer. It is possible to sit in here even in the middle of summer on a hot June, July, August day with the blinds down and it is cool enough with a breeze, with the doors and the windows open. The only day it was probably too hot to sit in here was probably yesterday, but then again, it was 34 degrees outside. Now, the gentleman who built our conservatory did insist that we didn't really need the blinds because the heat reflective glass would be enough by itself. This somewhat ignores the fact that you do need the blinds certainly to add some heat reflection, but also to preserve privacy and to ensure you get less glare when the sun's out. I'm standing here on the patio where our old conservatory used to be that was ripped out before we built the new one. Now behind me are the double opening patio doors that we've had fitted. The original doors here were single pane glass and wood panelled, the original for the house. Obviously they wouldn't have done very well so we had them replaced and this is the only window and door in the house that's now triple glazed. So here are those double doors, the patio doors we had fitted when the old conservatory was removed to replace the wood framed single glazed units that were already here from the original 1980s build. Now they are the only triple glazed units we have. We specifically asked for triple glazed here not only because this is the only external exterior door window that we've ever had replaced but also for demonstration purposes for Super Home 59 so it had a double benefit. Subsequently, obviously, and before, we were told by several professionals in the trade that triple glazing isn't worth it. Don't bother, just get good double glazing. Personally, I don't believe it. The numbers speak for themselves. Triple glazing always has a better U value than double glazing. So as long as you get well-specified triple glazing, it will always be better than double glazing. Whether or not it's financially worth it is a different question, but we didn't have it installed here for financial reasons. We had it here put in for um, demonstration reasons. If you have the opportunity to ever have to replace double glazing uh, for any external windows or doors, try and specify triple glazing. It's not a big premium and it certainly will be worth it in the end. So does an energy efficient house really have to have a conservatory? The answer is no. Certainly not for the money you spend on it. You just buy a conservatory because you want to sit in it in the summer. It does have a benefit when the sun's out that it captures energy and it can transmit it into your house. It's like a big hot air bubble. As long as you can control the excess heat in the high of summer, then you're okay. So do separate it from the rest of your house. This is the end of our Super Home 59 video about conservatories. If you'd like to come visit us, please do, or drop us a line online. The web address is after the end of this show. In the meantime, thanks for watching, goodbye for now, and you too can conquer your house.